decision to rejig those dams is pretty much like deciding to flood Lake Petter all over again. But this time, not without the innocent cloak of ignorance and lack of environmental awareness of the old days, but in full knowledge of all the values and all the strife. Lake Petter was the first truly national environmental furor. It was, after all, a global gem, the mirror of heaven. There was a national park out there, but uh, I can't remember exactly where it was, but at least it wasn't of substantial significance. That ignites some curiosity, doesn't it? That people would be so committed to a place that they feel a connection with, that they would campaign for 50 years to have it recovered. People say, look, it'd be fantastic to restore Lake Pedder, but, you know, we have so many campaigns on the go. We're trying to protect the forests. We're trying to protect our estuaries and, and rivers. But now there is a degree of urgency. You've got two situations then, a dam astride a fault, and you've got this dam that's built with not very satisfactory materials. But it's going to be immensely expensive to restore the actual dams to maintain the drowning of Lake Pedder. I mean, why are we doing it? And so many young people you know are angry. So we've got to move on from that age of destruction to an age of restoration. It's not going to die. There's a whole generation and generations that will continue the fight for Lake Pedder because it's just too damn important to let it go. Stop. We're really here going to win. It's just a matter of when, not if.